when it comes to Brexit, but here is somebody to tell you differently. Would you please welcome from Team GB, from the Winter Olympic team, freestyle skier, would you please welcome Peter Specht. Hello everybody. We have to dip low for this one, quite tall. <coughs> My name is Peter Spate, I'm a professional <laughs> skier. I'm Winter Olympian, and I'm here today supporting a people's vote on the final Brexit deal. <laughs> it's becoming increasingly apparent that leaving the European Union has so many potentially negative consequences for the future of our country. Consequences that were not made clear during the Leave campaign in 2016. But this government seems determined to push through damaging le legislation at whatever the cost to the people of this country. <coughs> Grassroots sports and creative opportunities rely on public funding, but economic downturn due to Brexit will mean less tax revenues for government spending, which will no doubt see public services, such as investment in sports and creative industries, put at risk, as well as a loss of EU funding to these sectors and a reduction in travel and work opportunities for future generations. These are just some examples of the consequences that economic self-harm due to Brexit presents. The price will be paid by future generations, the very people who have had no say on the outcome of the referendum. I have been so lucky to benefit from living in an open, dynamic and globally influential society, the benefits of which, in my opinion, have been completely undervalued in the political debate. And I don't want to see a future where young people are robbed of the same opportunities that I've had growing up at no fault of their own. As a sports person, I believe in the benefits of widespread opportunity for all, not just those who can afford them. There is a whole generation of young people in danger of being let down, and this government must be held to account on the terms of a final Brexit deal which delivers the bright future that has been promised time and time again. That's why I'm here today supporting a people's vote. Thank you for listening to me. Peter Spate!